in just one verse in 2 Timothy chapter 1. It's verse 7. Hear this now. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear. Have you ever felt the spirit of fear? I have. It's a very challenging and daunting thing. Spirit of fear. God didn't give you that, which means you have victory over it because God is with you. I, uh, the greatest battle I've ever had with fear was the night that I was near Salem, Massachusetts. I had just been fighting all the witches over there. On the 30th of October, full moon was coming, Friday night was coming. We left town just in time to get away from the display that was going to be put on in Salem by the Sisters of Eternal Damnation, which was a coven sponsored by the Salem Lutheran Church and the Salem Baptist Church. You might say, what? Yep. Unthinkable! Well, they grabbed Harry Potter right away, didn't they? When are we going to open our eyes and see the reality of it? The churches in our country have been demonized. Come on. Stay in the Bible. You listen to what they say and it's outrageous. The, the lies that they're perpetrating. Come on, wake up. This is not the country you were born into. It's different now. It's changed. None can deny it. The Antichrist powers are rising up. The whole world has gone mad. But Jesus will hold you in his hand. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Turning quickly, I don't have a lot of time left, but turning quickly back to Acts chapter 16, going all the way down, to verse 16, Acts 16, 16. It says, and it came to pass as we went to prayer. Notice that, they used to pray in those days. As we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us. Notice, she was possessed. Possessed! She could tell fortunes. She could look into your eyes. Or look at the palm of your hand and look at your lifeline and your heart line and all your other lines. And, right? She could read your horoscope. She could tell if you were a Aries or a Taurus or a Gemini, Gemini the twins or Cancer the crab or, or a Libra the balance scale, Sagittarius the archer. Capricorn the goat, Aquarius the water bearer, Pisces the fish, pistachio the nut. She had a spirit of divination which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. Made money on her. The same followed Paul and us and cried saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God which show unto us the way of salvation. That wasn't her message. That didn't belong. That wasn't for her to say. She was possessed with the devil. She was attracting attention to herself, to her powers, to her ability. And yet she could not control herself. And this did she many days, but Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the spirit, Did you ever talk to a spirit? Hey, you don't know what you're missing. Come on. You've got a right to. Out in the name of Jesus. Come on. He said, you know, spirits are afraid you're going to talk to them. They're trembling that you might do it. Well, I don't care how physically weak you are. I know that Satan trembles when he sees the weakest saint upon his knees. Time to get into battle with these things. Turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. 
And when her master saw that the hope of their gains was gone, notice she lost her ESP and now she couldn't do it anymore. Why? The spirit was gone. Isn't that great? That was no gift. That wasn't ESP, some power she had. It was a demon. All right? They caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace under the rulers and brought them to the magistrate saying, These men being Jews do exceedingly trouble our city and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe being Romans. Oh boy, are they getting the government involved here? You can't have these people around. They're not in harmony with the government. Hmm. And the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates rent off their clothes, that was for show, of course, and commanded to beat them. Christians being beaten? Oh, should that ever happen? Christians aren't supposed to suffer, are they? All they that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. You could be slandered, I have. You could be shot at, I have. All kinds of things can happen to you. Toughen up. Come on. Some people hang their head, oh, they're talking about me, they're talking about me. Let them talk. People always talk about you. There's nothing you can do to keep them from talking about you. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Imagine all those stripes hitting their back, beaten, 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 beaten. Then they give them to the jailer, who having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison. He didn't lead them by the hand. He shoved them in there. Maybe kicked them in there, pushed them in, threw them down, put their legs in the stocks. Backs ripped open. But there was no time for a pity party. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. They sang between the pangs. Their backs had to be hurting. They laid many stripes on them. They were in the stocks. They couldn't sit. They had, had to sit a certain way. There was a lot of pain involved. And the prisoners heard them. But they sang to God in the midst of all that. You know why? A church was being born. The church at Philippi. They were in a Philippian jail. Now watch what happens. And suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's bands were loosed. 